We're back. Mel Brewer, Insomniac Time, 2 to 6. And it's 3.30 now, which means we've reached the progressive trends part of our program, a segment where we talk to people who uh, indicate what the newest trends are in progressive music. And tonight our guest is a man named Ron Fields, who comes to us tonight from London, England. He's a manager, the man who discovered Circle, and he's here tonight to tell us about a new group who he thinks is really going to make it big. Uh, Ron? Welcome to the studio. Glad to have you here at BGD. Thanks, Mel. You're terrific. I love your show. You're fantastic. Wouldn't miss it. Thanks, Ron. Well, the heck, let's not beat around the bush. Who are they? Tell us about them. We want to know. I'm very excited about this group, more than I have been for years. I've been traveling around for years trying to sign good groups. This is the one. They're going right to the top. It's a missile. It's a rocket. I'm very excited. I'll tell you about it. Went to the British Isles. Excuse? Vacation. Needed rest. Lo and behold, found a group. Four men, sweaters, blonde hair, singing, like birds. I went out of my nut. I fell on my bum. I couldn't believe it. They were fantastic. Signed him up, said, sing for me. They said, yes, please. They did. They're fantastic. And what kind of stuff are they going to be doing? Are they, are they rockers? Are they country music? Are they playing the classical rock of... Uh... Excuse me? Wailing songs. The best. That's what they do. They sing wailing songs. No instruments. No guitar. No bass. No drums. No moog. Nothing. Dumper, in the dumper, those instruments. Flush them down the toity. Well, well, they just sing. They're a cappella, then? A cappella, a cappella. They're fantastic. Found them in the Shetland Islands. They're terrific. They're the best. Wailing songs are going to be the new trend. The newest thing. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about them. Maybe. No uh, more country music. No more classical music. Forgot it. Forgot it. Forgot it. Forgot it. I don't remember what that was. It went out the window. I don't remember that. Hello? Hello? Sorry. No more classical music here at the station. Only wailing music will be fantastic. No more country. No more rock and roll. Thank you. What about rock opera? Dumper. In the dumper. Flush it. <laughs> Flush it. Well, tell us something about them. I mean, what are their favorite colors, or who are their biggest influences? Mal, we're not talking colors here. We're talking influences. We're talking two people, two giants, two greats. Nina Simone, Frankie Valli. Stop. Check, please. That's it. That's where they learned what they know. They're fantastic. And it's they've terrific. taken all that Frank and Nina have offered and done something new with this whole whaling thing. Who do you think in particular they're going to appeal to? I mean, is Everybody, there a everybody, kind of... everybody. A fireman, a neurosurgeon, the guy on the street, the bum on the corner, the cop on the beach, the guy with varicose veins, the guy in traction, anybody. Oh, an old lady with a walker, crying, her husband's left, goodbye, not coming back. I'm talking anybody. I'm talking a choir. I'm talking Gump Worsley. I'm talking dejected. I'm talking rejected. I'm talking no contract next year. Seventy-five grand one year, no money the next. Well, I'm talking anyone who's interested in listening to wailing songs. What is wailing the songs are the best. What is the? Uh, I'm talking about a guy in Africa in a gumbo car. hut. I'm talking about a guy in the bayou. I'm talking about a guy in Florida sanding his nose. Well, what uh, is the name of the cut that you've got for us here in the studio today? No name, Mel. We have no name for this. It's a fantastic group. It's fantastic. We don't have to do. No name, name and no for name for the group. group. Either. No name for the group. Well, perhaps we could have a contest here at BGT. And let fantastic. The out there in the audience uh, give a name to this big group. Keep your ears open for that, Insomniacs. Uh, we'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks as soon as we get the clearance from upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's how the stations run, Ron. Uh, and uh, maybe the Insomniacs can be responsible for something very special in professional music. Fantastic. Well, we're going to play the cut right now, and it's uh, going to be a very, very big hit, according to Mr. Ron Field. Ron, thanks for coming by. We'll talk after the record. Let's hear what you think. The telephone number here is 262-4200. Give us a call if you like what you hear. Out of New Bedford, 21 years on the good ship Columbine. Hey! For the sea blows green in the Argentine when the bosuns flies the line. Hey! Oh, around the horn our whaler tacks with a crew of Bedford men. Hey! McGee and me and the first mates three and dirty Boston Ben. Oh, oh it's, it's all hands tug and blow, lads blow, when you hunt for the horrible sperm. Oh, it's up me mates as the lookout shouts and the topsail mizzen fast. Hey! And the capstan spins on the forecastle poop and we've sighted whale at last. Hey! Then it's breach our boats in the ocean wave while the oarlocks whistle and boom. Hey! And Indian Joe in the spit of the bow Let's fly with his lampoon Oh, it's all hands tug and blow, lads blow When you hunt for the horrible sperm Then the whale, she dives like a devil into hell And away goes the singing line Hey! And Boston Ben took a flounder of the flukes And he drowned in the salty brine Ray, Ray lad! And he drowned in the salty brine Ray! Now there's one less whale fish in the sea And the good ship safe and sound Hey! And the oil's on to boil in the belly of the hole, and we're bound for Bedford Town. Hey! Oh, it's all hands tug and blow, lads blow, when you hunt for the horrible sperm. <laughs> Wow, our 
our phone board is just lit up like a Christmas tree, and uh, it seems that everybody out there is really digging your new group, Moran. Congratulations. Fantastic. Mel, it's always a pleasure to be on your show. You're terrific. You're the best there is. Well, thank you very much. Insomniacs, let's all get together and give Ron a great big goodbye and a great big thank you for stopping by to Progressive Trends. Thanks, Ron. Fantastic. Now, listen, before I go, I have a little gift for you, a little envelope here. Oh, thank you. If you'd be so kind as to open it after I leave the studio. Just a little uh, snowstorm in July, if you know what I mean. Yeah, good. Well, thank you, Ron. i got to get out of the way right now for those nutty, wacky guys from the National Lampoon are going to be doing some pretty crazy things to everybody's head. So tune in tomorrow night, Insomniac Time, 2 to 6. This is Mel Brewer. I'll see you then if you're still awake.